Today's video, I'm going to show you the importance of having different types of corner routes in your arsenal to be able to defeat any kind of coverage that your opponent might put on the field. Now, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you hit the sub button. We drop videos every single day to help you become a better Madden player. Also, if you're looking to take your Madden game to the next level, join the Patreon. You can get access to all of my eBooks by being a Patreon member. It's only $10 to join. And today we're talking about some concepts and to utilize this, uh, I'm going to utilize the West Coast Bunch. We've got a full ebook on the West Coast Bunch, actually updated it last week. If you want to check it out, again, it's on the Patreon. But I want to talk about this. Uh, what's cool about West Coast Bunch is you have routes that break at corner routes that break at different depths. For example, you have the play Z spot, which is a it's got a, a little bit of a deeper, uh, more vertical breaking corner route. Then you have a play like deep corner that actually has a little bit of a sharper uh, breaking corner route. Same is true of stick and corner strike. You'll see here stick, this corner route's more of like a slant out or a sharp cut, uh, short, short corner. And then you have corner strike, which is more of a deep corner, okay? So the beauty of having uh, different corner routes that break at different depths is they do different things against the defense. For example, let's say for example that I'm running a cover three coverage. Because I'm utilizing um, the play Z spot and my bunch in this example is to the wide side of the field, you're going to notice that this corner route on the right side is going to run himself into coverage just like that. All right. Then you're going to have to make a user catch and it's not going to be super optimal. But if I run a coverage, let's say, for example, that the defense runs a coverage like cover two and we run that same concept. Now you're going to see this deep corner route. Actually, even though Frank Gore is on it, let me actually sub him out. Um, even though Frank Gore is on it, you're going to see it's going to get over the top of a cloud flat, especially if you have more space to the wide side of the field. So what we can do is kind of build around that concept to be able to attack a variety of different coverages, uh, which we're going to show you right here. So uh, again, let me show you that cover two real quick. So if I go cover two, you'll see here, this is Z spot. And you see how this corner route gets well, well over the top of a, uh, of a cloud flat on that side of the field but it doesn't get over the top of a third, right? Unfortunately. So this is where these shallow corner routes uh, can really be helpful. So I'll play, for example, such as deep corner. If I put the circle receiver on a fade, I'm gonna have a shot to be able to hit this sharp, sharp corner route uh, to the sideline, as you can see right there, even though it's wide side bunch. And if I run a concept such as Z spot, you're gonna see that I can't really consistently throw that against cover three. So this really what this does for you, this concept here is going to make your bunch significantly more effective and versatile in its ability to attack anything that the defense wants to do. The same is true, for example, with a play like stick. So what you're gonna see from stick is it has this sharp corner route. So we're gonna fade that right side receiver. If they're playing cover four or cover three on that side of the field, we're gonna be able to consistently hit this corner route to the sideline just like that. So we are basically forcing the opponent to having to play cover two, right? Because that's how they're, the only thing that can stop that sharp corner out, whether it be from deep corner or stick, is a cloud flap. So maybe they set up a coverage that looks like this, and now they're gonna try to play, um, they're gonna try to play like, you know, deep corner or stick. So you see here, here's deep corner, and you're gonna notice that this, this uh, corner out Right there actually got a slightly over it, but normally is not going to get over it, especially if they zone drop. So that's where we can go to a concept such as Z spot or corner strike. So what you'll see against with corner strike here is now you've got a deeper corner route and this deeper corner route is going to get well over the top of a deep cloud flat. So if they're in cover two, you want to be running deeper corner routes. If they're in cover, if they're in cover three or cover four, then you want to be running shorter corner routes. Okay. Now, Let's bring this home with the idea and understanding of what a double Mabel defense does and how this tip can help you combat double Mabel defenses. So your prototypical double Mabel is going to be a 25 and 5, and typically it's going to be based out of um, a cover two concept. So what they're going to do is they're going to do something like this right here where they have two deep cloud flats that are going to drop back to defend the deep corner routes, and then they have those underneath uh, curl flat zones, right? So what you're going to see is if I go to a play like corner strike, even though this does a really good job of beating cover two, I'm not going to be able to get this deeper corner out all the way over the top of this player normally. OK, and as you can see, even they're not able to get it over the top. Right. So what you can do, though, is kind of back to the original foundation here is we can utilize short corner routes when our opponent goes to 
coverages like that. So for example, if I use this place stick, I've got this sharp cutting shorter corner that's gonna get underneath of that flat. And I have to basically make a little bit of a user catch here, but oftentimes, and again, what most people are gonna do with their clouds, if they're gonna play you in a double flat coverage, they're probably gonna back those clouds off, which is a little bit of a giveaway that they're doing that. That's where you really wanna capitalize on these shorter corner routes. And with Freeform, you can throw this with a pass lead uh, to the right and basically like almost like a back shoulder corner where you can really attack the, the depth of these clouds. So, and also, like I said, if they press you, even if they are at a 35 yard depth here, you're gonna see that this corner route has a pretty good chance of getting over. Now right there, he kind of got bumped, kind of got messed up and I'll show you it from Z spot. And this is also another really cool piece uh, of this tip because what you'll see with Z spot is now the corner route is coming from a receiver that is just slightly more inside. And so he's got more room to run to the sideline. So you see here Z spot, see I have a lot more room and I can get over the top of that cloud flat. Uh, and so now you see how the kind of the chess match. So now the only way they can stop Z spot is they have to really drop those cloud flats back, those cloud flat defenders back. And then guess what that opens up? It opens up stick, it opens up deep corner, it opens up those shorter and sharper corner routes that you can free form and almost like turn them into kind of like a, an out route uh, to a degree. So the beauty of this is you're able to attack different zone drops with different routes. And even though they're gonna be taking away your big play, your deep corner route, things like these sharper corner routes really can do a nice job um, of, of allowing you to attack this kind of coverage concept. So then you kind of get into this cat and mouse game. And the other cool part about this, and this is why I think what makes West Coast Bunch so effective, is you have corner routes from different receivers. So you can run a corner route from the slot, you can run a corner route from the outside receiver, right, specifically out of West Coast. And then if we get a slot apprentice on our tight end, we can then start to do things such as, and this is kind of a, a really cool piece here, um, but once you get a slot apprentice, you know, we could do things in theory where we could take our tight end and we could put our tight end on a corner route. Here he's on an out route, but a, a slot apprentice corner route would be um, kind of this corner route that Devin Hester's on. But then let's say, for example, that we motion Devin Hester and just to illustrate, I'm going to motion Shannon Sharp, but just assume it's the same. Then what we can do is this guy is going to, that, that receiver would turn into a tight end and now he's going to be able to be on a sharp corner route. So you can utilize different corner routes for different things. And what's cool about Bunch is you have access, especially specifically out of West Coast Bunch, you have access to all of the routes you need uh, to be able to apply those principles. So it's part of what makes Bunch so effective is because you have different corner routes for different reasons. And uh, if you can master utilizing your corner routes, you're going to uh, just basically become a much, much more lethal weapon offensively. So wanted to talk about that today and how you can utilize those to get different things. The same is also true for crossers. And uh, like, for example, let's say we wanted to attack a double flat, uh, a double flat coverage here on the right side and they're playing a double Mabel, right? So a double flat and they're dropping these guys back. One simple way we can do this is instead of utilizing a crossing route, we're gonna now utilize um, just a basic little slant route. And what you'll notice with this slant routes is they will go to about 15 yard depth, kind of like that short corner. And that's awesome. Do you see what that, you see what that slant did? That is insane to me. Um, but basically the slant route would, would be something like that. And hopefully they patch slants and make them not terrible, but this is the idea. And again, same kind of principle applies here. Uh, you know, a sharper crosser in a way is like a slant route. So you'll see here, he runs across and you can hit him before he gets to the flat zones. And even on the sideline, you could potentially hit him. So wanted to do a little video talking about different depths of routes, why they're helpful, why they're important. Slot apprentice and hot master, all that stuff is going to help this a little bit. But West Coast Bunch is the only playbook and only formation that I'm aware of where you have a lot of different variations of corner routes that you can use for different situations. If you want to get better at Madden, join the Patreon. It's only $10, and we give you access to everything, all of our eBooks, all of our updates, everything for just $10. You can sign up by heading down to the description and clicking the link down below.